Okay, here we go. We have got a brand new player pick that we're going to open up on both my accounts. Let's see what we can get. Let's get into it. Do you guys want to kickstart your Foot22 team off with a bang? Head over to MoogleFactory.com for the cheapest, most safe, and reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order and get yourself some Foot coins to boost your team right now. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title, we are here with a brand new play pick this year called the Year in Review Play Pick. I don't know why I just kind of muddled my words there. Also, just apologies, it's a little bit later than usual. Basically, I was at Football 6 to 7. My bad. You know, I go for 6 to 7 on Tuesdays. That's why sometimes I don't upload on the day. Anyways, back onto what we've got today. We have got the year in review player pick. As, as you can see on football, the description is um, one of three players that were released through SBCs during all previous campaigns in Foot 22 up until the 31st of December with the price of 103,000 coins on PlayStation, 106,000 coins on Xbox and 105,000 coins on the PC as well. 85 rated squad, 55 chemistry. You guys know what it is. So there's a lot of good players available here in this player pick. I mean, the likes of player of the month, Ronaldo, player of the month, Salah, player of the month, Vinicius Jr. A flashback Benzema, maybe flashback Akari. I can't fully remember when that got released. There's some really nice cards available, like really, really nice cards. Like literally any SBC card player that has been out before, obviously, the end of the year last year is available. Yeah, no, this could be some bangers in it. I mean, I'm personally looking for Cristiano Ronaldo. That would be absolutely sick, but if not, I just want a good usable player on both accounts. So if you guys have gone ahead and opened up this play pick, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what you've managed to get from it. Was it good or was it bad? Let me know your three options and who you choose from them three options as well. Anyways, that's enough of me talking. Let's get into the player pick and I'll see you guys after. Okay, so here is what we are submitting into the SBC. Pretty basic. I mean, behind my face comes literally Sancho. So it's pretty basic. 85 rated squad. Hopefully the return's good. That is what we're hoping for right now. Fingers crossed we can get something good back. All right, so as you can see, year in review player pick. I really hope we can get a big SBC here player, uh, SBC player, just make it good. I remember like a few years back, we had this and Rooney was available. So if we can get something like a Rooney, that'd be pretty cool. All right, here we go. Player pick time. We've also got the hero keen stuff that I really don't care about. Anyways, let's get the image ready and let's reveal who we've got. Okay, image is ready. Player pick is there. Let's put the image in front. Let's put, sorry, open the player pick and let's reveal who we've got. Okay, we're gonna go right to left on the players we have got. Oh my God, please, EA Sports, don't, don't do me over here. Please give me someone good and hopefully if it's someone good, it's not someone I already have. All right, we should be at the first card in any second now. All right, I don't, who's the, what is the, is that a Europa League card? That is a Europa League card. Who is that? Oh my God. That is who? G Galeno. I mean, it's got good pace, but apart from that, I really don't care for the card. I can't lie. At least it's not a duplicate, I guess. All right, player number two. Player number two. EA, please. Who is it? What is it? What kind of card? That is... I don't, what card is that? Is that a ones to watch? Oh my God. That is... What an awful start. So, so far, we've got Galeno, uh, who plays in like, the Liga Nos, and we've got Shakiri's one to watch SBC. Please make this third one something decent. Please, what kind of card is it? We're going to see any second now. All right. It is a flashback. Is it someone I've already got? Oh, okay. Flashback on City. You know what? Probably not great, is it? Let's be I mean, is he really usable nowadays? I don't even know. Like, do I actually take Umtiti over Galeno? You know what? I will because I think he is more usable. And obviously, the desk come out recently. So I can actually link him if I ever want to use Dest with Umtiti. I mean, I guess I could take Galeno for the highest rated. But realistically, I'm just going to take Umtiti. He's much more linkable French as well. Yeah, that wasn't great. I hope my RTG one's better than that because that was not great at all. All right. So now we've done it on the RTG as well. This is what we're putting in. We've got Red Kanji from this week. Red Dingue as well. I mean, I'm not really going to use them. They're literally fodder. I've also got, I believe, Informa Kanji in the club as well. That's untradeable. So, this is what we're going to submit in. Hopefully, this time around, it could be a bit better than a flashback um titty. That's what I'm going to hope for. Let's submit it and let's see what we can get. All right, so here we go. We've got the keen stuff again. We've got the image ready. So let's put the image in front, open the player pick, and pray we have something good. All right, here we go. Come on. Account number two, RTG. You give me something sick. I've done a few SBCs on there, a few SBC plays, so hopefully there's not too many duplicates, but let's have a look. All right, the first player should be showing up any second now. Is it, come on, where is it? Where's the play? Oh, here we go. Okay, that is a UCL card. That is a UCL card, I'm pretty sure, right? Oh, Kapu you know what? I would have took Kapoor on my main account. He is a such a, a solid card. Like, if you get that option, he is very, very good. He's literally just like the area in game. I kid you not, one of my key players for my team. All right, player number two. Player number two for the RTG. Please don't be someone that I already own. That's all I'm asking. What is this? Is this a... Oh, it's Banza. 
I actually haven't completed him on this account. I mean, I'll definitely take him so far. It's a pretty decent card, but you know, 88 as well, in case we need fodder. That's always good. Okay, player number three. What is it going to be? Anything decent or hopefully unowned if it is something decent. It's going to be a showdown. Okay, it's going to be Kovacic showdown. Now I don't know who to choose. Now I really don't know who to choose. That is actually quite hard. I mean, Banz is quite good. I guess there's less link. I mean, he's French. I was going to say there's left links, but he is French. So he's actually a pretty solid card. Kovacic, also though, a very good centre midfielder. But I kind of want to take him as well. That's actually quite a hard choice. I can't lie. I don't know who to take here. I mean, with the team near midfielders out right now, not that I've packed any of my RTG, but Kovacic would be probably the smart choice because he links to what? Cont uh, sorry, Kante and Jorginho. And there's also some other good Chelsea links in there. Oh my god, I actually don't know who to choose. Who, what do I really need? I don't really need a striker. And I don't... I think I'm going to take Kovacic there. I think I'm going to take Kovacic. Yep, I'm going to go with it. I mean, they're both the same rating as well. There's more links for me to get Kovacic in, I think. So that is the one we've gone for on the RTG. I don't think that's been too bad. I think that was definitely better than the main account, in my opinion. All right, so there we go. There's my two player picks open up. As you saw on their first account on my main account, we got Um Titi, which wasn't great. I mean, the highest rating also being, what, 86 Galeno. I mean, I went for Um Titi just because of the links I guess he has. I didn't complete it. I mean, I would have preferred a PK. If they gave me PK showdown over Um Titi, that would have been better. Obviously, higher rated and maybe more usable. I mean, I never really completed them, Titi, so I don't know what he's exactly like, but I don't really plan on using him. I already have Flashback Garan, uh, base Ferdinand, and also Team of the Year, Marquinhos. So he's only ever going to get in, really, if I need some sort of a La Liga link, or like I said, maybe to use with Yedlin. And then on my RTG, definitely the better pool where we got Kovacic, which I think was pretty solid. I mean, we chose between, obviously, Kovacic or Banza, obviously already owning Kapuwe. So I went for Kovacic because I just think it's a lot easier to link in. He'll be a lot easier to link in. I mean, there's already two Team of the Year Chelsea players that are already very, very good. Also, there's better Premier League things. I mean, Banza, yes, you can link into French players, but you're only ever really going to get a soft link. In my opinion, I mean, it could be good off the bench, I guess, but so could Kovacic. So that's why I went for him. But like I said earlier, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what you managed to get. Were your ones good or bad? Have you opened it? Have you even opened it? That's what I want to know in the comments below. Yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>